What is going on everybody know back here with another YouTube video? What is going on everybody know back here with another YouTube video here? What is going on everybody know back here with another YouTube video here today we got some more rules of survival What's going on everyone? Noah back here with another YouTube video That is a weird thing to say. I, I think that's about how my intro used to go back in the day, but uh, welcome everybody today we have got my last and probably one of the last rules of survival videos to ever be uploaded here on youtube at the time of this video going live rules of survival has a week until the servers are going to be shutting down forever i believe the date is uh june 27th to be exact it's already off of both the play store and app store so right now i'm actually downloading the game on my phone through tap tap which is actually today's video sponsor we'll be talking about them a little bit later on but yeah i just want to do one final tribute video to the game just because it's what really propelled my youtube career in the beginning and allowed me to pursue this whole youtube journey full time so i just thought it was appropriate to do one final you know goodbye play the game see how it's changed since the last few times i have gone on and checked it out you know i was one of the biggest creators for the game back when it was in its prime and i left the the scene relatively early for it so the game has changed a lot since i had initially seen it and I'm honestly surprised to hear that it is shutting down just because I know even though I haven't really been playing the game for the last, let's say, three years now, it still has a huge player base. And I know NetEase is a relatively big studio, so it kind of blows my mind that the game's shutting down. But like I said, we've got one week left of the game's lifespan, so I just figured today we'd do one final tribute for a goodbye rules of survival video and before we do hop into the game itself i did want to talk to you guys a little bit about tap tap because as i'd mentioned they are today's video sponsor and this entire video wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for tap tap because i actually didn't have ross downloaded on any of my devices when they pulled it off of the google play store and ios store so tap tap is coming in clutch this is something i'd be using whether the video was sponsored or not and just for those of you who are unfamiliar with what tap tap is it's a mobile games discovery platform where you can find games like rules of survival you know apex legends mobile call of duty mobile or games that just might not be available on your app store so we've got t3 arena for example this is something that i've actually already played a bit but it's not available on my play store maybe just because of where i live and it's more than just an app store i mean you can see right here on screen that we have a little video it's a space where there's a lot of content provided for the mobile gaming scene you have guides and walkthroughs discussions and even exclusive beta opportunities that you might not normally find so it's a great app if you are someone who's into mobile gaming 10 out of 10 i recommend that you look into trying it out and again if you do want to have a little bit of nostalgia and play rules of survival one last time before the server shut down next week it's available on tap tap so Link in the description if you guys want to try it out. So I'm going to wait for this to finish downloading and then we'll boot up the game for the first time in who knows how long. So quick change of plans. I wasn't able to get into my mobile account on my Android because I did sign in through Game Center, but I got the game downloaded here on our iPad. So we're just going to be moving forward with this. And I logged into it and the first thing that I saw was my OG skin, as people had used to call it, the astronaut. So that was pretty cool to, to have seen this. Now, a lot of you guys who remember my old content know that I actually didn't play the mobile edition of the game. So for anybody who's wondering like how I actually had skins and stuff on a mobile account, a while after I had quit making content for Rules of Survival, you know, I, I went through like the next year slowly kind of failing YouTube. Like it was getting bad, bad. And that's what originally inspired me to make my mobile channel was because I knew I had such a large mobile audience. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do rules of survival content on my mobile channel, and then I'm going to continue to do my PC stuff on my main one mil channel. Things ended up taking a different turn and then COD Mobile released, and I just actually fell in love with it and fell in love with mobile gaming. So not only did things work out, but I enjoy what I do now. So it was just like a double positive. But during that little grace period, rules of survival had actually sent me like a ridiculous amount of diamonds to just buy a whole bunch of new skins. So I actually did want to like just go through and see all the skins that I ended up purchasing. This one I had no idea existed, but I love it. We have a rubber eagle for the M4, Annihilator, Pew Pew, AKM, the Bone Crusher, Dark Drake, <laughs> M14 EBR, bro. That was like the deadly gun. Look at this. I have a total of 32 accumulated kills with the Soul Seeker. Bro, I'm not going to lie. Ross actually had a lot of cool systems with like their skins and just in general. The ACR Twilight. I actually completely forgot that that gun was in the game. Then we've got the AN94, which was my favorite gun. We have the Moonlight, which I have 236 kills with. So I wasn't really playing the game too much whenever they came out with this new system. But apparently 
the more kills that you had gotten with the specific skin, you would be able to like increase, I guess the maybe animations or something of the skin. So that's why it says kill to increase moonlight. Maybe if I go to tune, I can check that out. Nope. Uh, what is this? Oh, you could like upgrade the different forms of weapons. So you would need to have a duplicate of the skin and then gold. So that's kind of like the level system for weapons that PUBG has. With like the different droids and stuff. The support droids didn't exist when I played, so I don't even know what these guys do. This skin is actually crazy. The Hornet Blazer. I don't remember getting this one either. DSR. The M870. I actually didn't remember having a legendary for this, but apparently I did. Now this one I do remember. The the Sea Spirit. They they came out with the Sea Spirit for this gun as well as the L96. Oh, the AWM. Okay, that was the L96. But yeah, I don't have that on this account, but I know I had it on my PC account. Who remembers the Barrett, bro? The Noah versus Hacker video where like I had to clutch up with the Barrett shot. Otherwise, I was going to get beamed across the map. M110, the QBU. I, I don't remember ever using the Car 98 in the game, but hey, we have a skin for it. The WRO hunting rifle, bro. People would cross map with this thing. Compound bow, M249, the launcher, RPG, crossbow. The minigun. I actually remember when this one came out. Oh, there's a gold one? What the heck? Bro, that's actually crazier than the legendary, I feel like. I have a legendary wrench. Oh, that actually reminds me. When I had logged into the game for the first time, I saw this right here last time I had started the game. Mix and match for free where... You get like increased movement speed with this specific melee or increased reload speed, decreased recoil. I don't know what that's all about, but I guess at some point, yeah, the, the game became pay to win. <laughs> so you have the Soul Reaper Fly Swatter that's going to increase your movement speed. Okay, so if you had maxed your battle pass in the premium version, so the one that you had to pay for, you would get a Rainbow Thompson that had decreased recoil. <laughs> and then what is this thing here? An armored elephant? I, I don't know what that means, but the reloads. Oh, okay. It's an M134 skin. Dang, what? This was a free skin. That's actually kind of fire. The M134 is the big minigun. Oh, the game also has vehicle skins. Yeah, I'm remembering that. And we got the Roadster, the, the red hair. That's crazy. They did a Mustang collab. Then you have the twist. Actually, let me take that back. They probably didn't actually do a collab with the game. They probably just stole the, the look of a Mustang. I like the truck skins and then the bouncer bot. Now, this is something I've played around with a few times, but it actually came out after I had quit playing the game. So I really don't know like what the use of it is. I think it's literally just a vehicle that you jump around the map with. Oh my God, the skins in the motorcycles are actually crazy. I remember when I got the Bonesicle, I was like hyped about it. I actually bought this when I was like traveling. I don't know why I made a video, but I did in like England. Got the banana motorcycle. That's a dub skin, dude. Got the drone and the portable skateboard. Again, these are just things that weren't available in the game back when I played. I kid you not when I say I accidentally pressed Ross 2.0 and it's making me go through this full like 10 minute tutorial. Thank you. Exit. Oh my God. Okay. I was just trying to change the modes to see what they have available right now. The epic clash mode. I think that's the mode where you get to be like superheroes and stuff. That one's oh wait, hero clash. Okay. Well, either way, that mode was kind of fun. I do remember playing it a little bit. Got the blitz mode, the death race mode. Dude, you guys remember the zombie trial like way back when they first released that expansion pack. Fearless Floyd. I remember that. The FPS mode. I remember that was actually kind of scuffed. Like you had to go in and download FPS mode. Otherwise you couldn't have iron sights. Ross Ultra, bro. They finally brought it. I remember when that was like coming for a long time. I have it downloaded apparently. I don't know if I have to like put on the graphics or if it's a separate mode. I think it was a separate mode all around, which is why it was like such a letdown. Like they came out with ultra graphics. But then you had to play basically the ultra graphic mode in order to use those. But no one played that mode. So it was just all AI. Like this game always had great ideas. But then the execution was just like not there. Anyway, let me hop into a match. Do a solo ranked match here on Gilly. Oh, we found a game. Let's get it, dude. Yo, the music's actually kind of hype. I think I'm playing on a solid 30 FPS maybe. So my HUD is actually not horrible. Uh, sensitivity is awful, and I'm realizing that Ross had Distance Excel on by default. That was another one of, like, the little issues that they a thousand percent needed to change. Okay, I can make my FPS go higher. Graphics can go even higher. Shadow quality higher, whatever. Okay, that's much better. The homie Yellow here has got literally his own private plane he's flying. I feel like they still are, like, doing skins that no other BR has done. Like, stuff like this where you're literally flying your own separate dropship next to the actual dropship. The map has not changed at all, bro. Where does training base? Hey, there it is. Hold up. You already know I gotta fly there. Oh, yeah. This, this was our spot. 
Training base and Bitter Lake, only two places I would ever land in this game. My sensitivity is so scuffed, bro, and the graphics are awful. <laughs> like, they, I remember they took forever to load in. I got, like, a badass parachute glider, though. Okay, let me land here. Uh, M4 off the rip, baby. Let's get it. This is actually kind of cool that my, um, like, HUD is similar to how I play nowadays. This was, like, the first mobile game I had ever played on my iPad in preparation to, like, get into mobile gaming. And I only played a few times, but it is pretty cool to see that it sort of like shaped how I was going to play mobile games in the future, you know, moving to COD Mobile and now Apex, stuff like that. I find it unbelievable to think that at some point, like we were able to aim with these sensitivities because the controls are just awful. Oh yeah, I hit him with the, the like jump wiggle. Forgot that was a mechanic. Do I have an MP7 skin? Okay, I do. 10 out of 10. All right, what is in this airdrop? 20 seconds to open this thing better have a minigun and like full level three armor because this is kind of ridiculous 20 seconds to just sit here all right what am i getting oh wow oh whoa, whoa 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 i just got sniped at all right take half an hour to reload my gun oh shoot <laughs> jesus i'm not gonna lie the hit markers look pretty good oh my god i forgot the ttk in this game was instant Okay, uh, reload this bad boy. Jesus, it has 200 shots. That had to have been the best close range weapon in the game. Uh, press the bicycle button. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can like spawn in your own bike. I remember there was actually one more landing spot I had. It was Echo Valley. And uh, the cool thing about Echo was there was always guaranteed bicycle spawn points. I guess that's kind of nice. You were able to like spawn in vehicles or bikes, skateboards, whatever. I will say the driving controls in a lot of other mobile games still are not as good as Rules of Survival's. I love the system where your vehicle literally will just go with your camera. And surprisingly enough, I've not played another BR game that actually has this system in place. With that being said, this game is extremely dated, bro. Like the graphics look awful. And I'm typically someone who prefers gameplay over graphics, but it's like the gameplay is just as bad, like with the sensitivity and the mechanics of turning and all that. It's just wild to think that this was only a few years ago too. Like we have games now that are at such a high level of production like apex call of duty mobile like we've come such a long way in such a short time here in the mobile gaming scene i talk about it a lot man it's such a cool thing to be a part of i take back everything i've said why is this game getting shut down dude clearly game of the year look at this oh i'm getting shot was he in the building where even oh i see him holy Oh my god. Yeah, imagine going against that. Bro, the banana's literally just vibing. I saw like 102 hit. I think that was probably a headshot. I talked about it a lot. Rules of Survival did not really require any skill to be good at, dude. It's like you one to two tap in the head. Overall, it's like a three shot kill. So it's, you just did not have to have good aim or anything. You just had to be faster. Dude, when I was going through and editing like the, the beginning clips for this, just getting like kind of my intro, I was looking around for the AA-12 Tuck Tuck like quad feed that I got. Yeah, that was a, it was pretty nostalgic just going through all my old Ross videos. That stuff isn't actually public. And man, watching that over, I'm so glad it isn't because it's so cringe to watch. Not even because of the game, but just because of how I used to act, how I used to present myself on camera thinking this is how youtubers act it was so cringy dude oh this is where it happened up here that tuck tuck quad uh what skin do we have on here okay this is crazy looking shots oh yeah i forgot bots used to hide in the water in this game there's not many things that rules of survival has improved on though there's so many bots in the water so many there's like three here but they're all underneath the water yeah, there's not many things that Rules of Survival has improved on, but the one thing is uh, the hit markers look really good. Yeah, getting kills is like super cool looking right now. Oh, I'm kind of cracked. <laughs> Bots in this game used to love going towards water, bro. They're like mosquitoes. They would just like gravitate towards it. Can I shoot this one? Nah, they're underwater. I got 12 kills right now, bro. It's like a world record run. Ooh. I'm getting shot. Bro, homie just spawned out of nowhere. 102 to the head and he had a level 2 helmet. 4X. Oh my god, I forgot that they actually had like the, the 8Xs and stuff. Dude, it's so OP. Hold on. Let me get in this thing. I remember there's a strat, bro. You drive this around. Okay, first of all, tires are ripped off of this, apparently. But yeah, you could seat swap into the, like, minigun in the back. 
and then just beam with it. Oh, yo. Yeah, that's a real player. Bots don't shoot your, uh, your cars. I see him. Oh, buddy. Dude, that's actually so annoying. The vehicle is still making that sound. Ooh, a shield. Let me get that. Okay, so apparently this is how care packages look now. Um, just a whole bunch of ammo, sure. Bro, what are the odds that this player was just sitting in the building the entire game until I drove by and then actually, like, walked out? They had a level 3 helmet, a suppressor, an 8x stock. Oh, my God. They were looted. 8x mine, level 2 armor, nades. Starting to remember how to play this game a little bit. All right, where's the next zone going? Okay, this is kind of weird. It's, like, centered by the water. Wait, there's a, a skinned up motorcycle. Hold up, this uh, yellow dude might be near. Is that him? What is that? Wait, what is that? Is that like a BB-8? I feel like that might be one of the crazy like death boxes or something. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of terrified right now. I don't see anything, I don't hear anything. Oh, AN-94? Yeah, let me get that to close out this game. All the attachments switch over, right? They do, okay. Drop that and that. Oh, I'm ready, dude. All skinned up and everything. Where's that man Blizzard at, dude? Dang, bro, the zone's actually getting kind of small. Like, it is just too quiet. Oh. Oh, that was Blizzard. Dude, he, like, barely touched me. Oh. Is that yellow? That has to be yellow. Did he see me, though? All right, I gotta just, like, rotate. Because that guy has zone. Maybe he didn't see me. I guess I did have a suppressor on. Oh my god, they're still throwing uh, nades. I see him peeking up. Oh, rules of survival moment. Rules of survival moment. I had a clear shot and it hit like the object in front of me. I'm actually about to just get one tapped and lose this now. Because I saw that dude had level three armor and stuff. Say I won't just snake my way to a victory here. Where is this guy? Oh, he threw a smoke down. Okay. Oh, I see him snaking. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Rules of survival in 2022. How'd we get here, man? All right, everyone. Well, that will do it here for my final Rules of Survival video ever. I'm not gonna lie. That was an incredibly fun time, and we killed more real people than I was expecting to actually fight. I thought it was just gonna be all bots. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Again, after this video goes live, Rules of Survival has about a week left of its lifespan before the servers are completely shut down. So again, if you do want to play it one last time, I'd recommend you guys check out TapTap. -Tap, link in the description. But everyone, that'll do it here for myself and Rules of Survival. I'm out.